Safety is everybody's business. Tonight, the issue of safety comes first. And welcome to Bodies Informative. I'm reading. Please do not disturb me. You know what? This information will help you in case of an emergency. So please read it. Do not ignore it. Okay? Come on, follow me. Okay, so what is emergency plan? It contains all useful information regarding the ship's organization in case of an emergency or abandoned ship. Okay, it also shows the location of master stations, lifeboat and life raft stations. So that is all about emergency plan. That's why I read it. Okay, so guys, please read it. It will save you. Okay guys, this is the crew station bill. So what is the crew station bill? It is the key to the emergency plan. It contains all information regarding crew members assigned emergency and abandoned ship duties. Should the key personnel be disabled, the next in rank will assume the duties and responsibilities. Okay, we have different code words on board. But again, different companies have different code words. Okay, different vessel have different code words, but the most commonly is Bravo, Alpha, Delta, and Oscar. Alpha means medical emergency, Bravo, fire, Delta, grounding and collusion, Oscar, man overboard, and Papa, oil or chemical pollution. You will find out also in the emergency plan your master station, your lifeboat and life raft station. Okay, so this is the key of reading this uh, emergency plan, just in case of an emergency. Okay, shout out to all the viewers of Bodies Informative around the planet. Now, let's proceed to the next step. I will demonstrate to you the closing of watertight door and the fire screen door and their functions. Guys, that is a fire spring door. Okay, what is fire spring door? Okay, fire spring door are part of wall structure which isolate the adjacent areas and escape ways from the smoke and fire. That is the fire spring door. Okay, now we will proceed to water type door for you to uh, see the difference between the fire spring doors and the water type door. Okay, let's proceed. Okay guys, this is watertight door. What is the purpose of watertight door? Is to limit the spread of the water in case of progressive flooding. It uh, can be uh, operated remotely from the bridge or manually. So I will show you how to operate this one. Ladies and gentlemen, safety is our main priority. Thank you to all the viewers of Bodies Informative all over the world from different places on earth we have reached the youtube monetization program and thank you all for your support shout out to all the sailors and to my hometown in sibuyan island romlon thank you for watching bodies informative also to all the maritime schools and maritime agencies in the philippines Okay guys, that is the difference between the watertight door and the fire screen door. This is master station. What is master station? It is a place on a ship wherein the passengers and crew should assemble in an event of an emergency. So that is a master station. What is this sign means? This sign means exit to master station. Again, this means exit to master station, okay? Okay, this sign means lifeboat, rescue boat, and life raft station. We have two types of alarm signals. First is the general emergency signal, 
which is 7 short and 1 long blast. The general alarm will be used to alert the passengers and the crew, the passengers to go to their master stations and the crew to their emergency stations. Okay? The second one is the abandoned ship signal or one long blast. Abandoned ship signal will be used to alert the crew to go to their assigned abandoned ship stations and the passengers to make themselves ready to embark the lifeboats. Okay, this is lifeboat station. All lifeboats are fire redundant, capable of doing a minimum of six knots in calm waters and have uh, enough fuel for 24 hours of running. Each lifeboat has lockers and storage area. This is life wrap station. I will show you how does it looks. Okay? So that is the life wrap that we are using on board. Okay? Every raft is made from a coated synthetic fabric pad, tightly folded in uh, plastic containers. CO2 is used for uh, inflation uh, of this uh, life raft okay so that is the David okay so let me tell you the launching procedures of this life raft in case of an emergency okay remove the lashing so that is the lashing okay you need to remove that and then remove the rubber flap that is the rubber flap the black one Okay, pull the shackle. Okay, pull out the shackle. So attach the David hook to the shackle. The one from there, the David hook. Okay, to the shackle inside this rubber flap. Okay, pull out the various lines. So we have a container line, posing lines, and painter lines. Okay. Swing out the raft to the embarkation position. There you go. Okay, inflate the raft by pulling the quick release line. Okay, adjust the posing lines to make the raft level on the deck edge. Okay, and then before you start the embarkation. Alright, so when ready, Cut or release the lines, okay? The painter line, posing lines, and begin lowering the life wrap, okay? When waterborne, release the hook and move away from the ship. So you need to release that hook, ha! And the raft will move away from the ship. Okay, guys? So I hope you uh, enjoy this one. And hydrostatic release if the ship sink okay where is the hydrostatic release here oh it's down there yeah the yellow one all right so if the ship sink after four meters the water pressure will uh, activate the sharp knife which uh, will cut the lashing okay and the raft will uh, float to the surface all right, uh, there is one more. As the ship sinks, the raft painter will be pulled and the life raft will inflate. Okay, by means of weak link, weak link, okay? So this will, this life raft will afloat even the ship sink. Okay, so I hope uh, you enjoy this piece of information on uh, Buddy's informative uh, channel. Okay, thank you for watching, and I will I will show you a bit uh, of uh, information regarding the the life saving appliances like a life jacket, immersion suit. TPA if we have any on the life boys something like that okay so I will show you a bit of information regarding that one okay guys so this is uh, one example of the life saving appliances 
Okay, so this is the immersion suit. All right. This is the Emerson suit. This is on the head part. Okay. That is the Emerson suit. And this is the life boy. Okay. Okay. This is our life jacket station. This is an adult life jacket. And this one is for children and this one is for the infant okay how does it look look like this okay so this one is infant children in the middle and adult on the side okay there are three types of extinguishers that we use this one is the chemical wet chemical fire extinguisher and the other one is powder okay powder fire extinguisher and the other one is co2 that one the difference between the powder and the co2 is this one if you see the handle this is the co2 okay so what is CO2 fire extinguisher? It is a color and odorless gas heavier than air. So that is CO2. Okay guys, this is the last part of my safety tips. What is this all about? The signages? Okay, this one is a fire hydrant. This is the fire hose. And this is the fire extinguisher. If you can see, letter B and 12, this is, stands for powder, 12 kilos fire extinguishers. And we have the fire post number here. Alright? So again guys, thank you for watching Buddy's Informative Channel. See you next time. Thank you for watching Buddy's Informative. May I wish you all a very safe and pleasant journey.